It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by The Beat Seat. Guys, I didn't talk about this yesterday, but I want to briefly discuss my concern. Conor McGregor displays concerning behavior with twitches and he had difficulty speaking. I don't know if you guys saw this interview. Maybe I'll play it for you so you can see. We can kind of analyze what's happening here with his body language. And he's doing this weird thing with his shoulders as he speaks. And he kind of was like very introverted with his, the way he was speaking. And it makes me think that he was either on drugs or something's going on with him, with his mind. And that, that could be a very real thing because these guys take a lot of abuse. So let's just quickly go through this and see what you guys think. Yeah, here's the interview. We'll get into it. Odd behavior isn't exactly something new when it comes to Conor McGregor. But the MMA star created some new concerns while promoting his upcoming movie, Roadhouse. Speaking with Sports Illustrated alongside co-star Jake Gyllenhaal. How do we say that one, Joanne? Joanne, is it Jake Gyllenhaal or Gyllenhaal? Which one is it? (laughs) You know, Joanne, can you stop wheezing? You know? (laughs) I'm here. (laughs) Joanne! She's, you know, destroying the studio with that one. First, first part of the day, unbelievable. Speaking with Sports Illustrated with Gill and Gall, McGregor fielded questions while repeatedly twitching his shoulders, blinking, and appearing to struggle to speak. Let's see what this is. I want you guys to watch this with me again. YouTube, X or Rumble. You can. If see you're thinking right about getting shoulder. great internet at a great price, good thinking. Now's your chance. I landed one punch <laughs> once, and, <laughs> and he hit me with a door. <laughs> Other than that, it was absolutely perfect. And it That's right. amazing. I'm Bob Burke here with Jake Gyllenhaal, Conor McGregor, stars of eyes, the new too. Roadhouse, awesome, yeah. which is coming to you on Prime Video. What was it like, Jake, working with Conor? I mean, you you have played a combat sports athlete before in South Paul, but right? this is a whole different game. What focused. was that like? Look, it look was great screen. fun. I mean, he, he, he was from the very beginning, look, Conor said away. to me, he was like, I'm a white belt in making movies wow. and acting, and I'm here to learn. And That was the way it was the whole time. But on the opposite end, I'm, you know, a white belt in the fight game. And in terms of fights and what they look like and how authentic it is, I know it was so important to you from the very beginning that the the fight fans always felt like they were watching something original, something fun. And so he was always coaching me and showing me how to do do things or change something up to make it feel more authentic so that that all the fight fans in particular, but movie fans in the end too, We'll love this movie even more because I, of I like the stuff Hall, that we did. Right? Connor, what did Jake bring to the table from the realism when it came to the fight game? Look Jake's it. a consummate professional. 75 movies made. You oh. know, I was, I'm blessed oh my to have entered into the movie alongside him. He was patient with me. He gave me guidance. And I just took it. You know, we had a good rapport on set. He has 75 movies made. I have 75 bar fights made. And that's it. We had a good back and forth. Jake, you, you have to take some real punches and kicks in kind the, the lead up to this? Uh, yeah, and throughout it too. Yeah, it's inevitable, I think, when you're trying to do fights like this and make he's them as sweating. real as you can. Look at that's his face. just sort of, it's a part of the whole thing, you know? Guys, he's um, having withdrawals but, right there. Yeah, I mean, also it's important to, to know right? what it feels like in the spar. I did that particularly in preparation for Southpaw. There was a lot of sparring and understanding the feeling. The skin you can't looks off. play a fighter unless you know what they that's like. They got a makeup duck too, you know uh, that, right? But no, we stayed, we stayed as careful as we could the whole time, and he was always very, he was good to me. And but he's trying to, <laughs> I sometimes had to remind him. <laughs> like, I, la- I landed one punch. <laughs> once. And, and he hit me with a door. <laughs> Other than that, it was absolutely perfect. That's got, true. An amazing stunt, a stunt team, Garrett Warden and Steve Brown, and they were phenomenal with us. They gave us free reign. Oh man, he's effed up right now. And we've done a good job. Is that hard for you, Connor, at all? Because you've been in so many real fights to, like, to realize, yeah, I'm trying questions. to make this look real, but you know, I am acting. For me, what was hard was, it was time consuming. 18 hours on set, very little rest. It was strange to me, but like, I, you know, yeah, the fight scenes, I was happy to give my input and my all. And Jake, as I said, is a consummate professional. We've done a good job. You check it out for yourself. Yeah. Roadhouse 2024. Guys, I don't know. What do you think? There's something off there, right? I'm feeling bad for him. I mean, he's like, 
Oh, yeah, it's nerd. He did a movie. And he's like this. Like, the weird thing is he got Gyllenhaal, Jill and Jill, and he's like this. Yeah, no, we had a great time. It was a great film. You know, I had an awesome time with McGregor. He, you know, he did hit me in the face that one time. Remember that time he hit me in the face, McGregor? And then you go to McGregor, he's like, Yeah, no, he hit him in the face. Yeah, he didn't find him in the face. And, uh, and then he hit me in the dark. And he's doing this weird thing, but he's like sitting back. Like Gillengall is like this. He's like, yeah, thanks for the call, Sports Illustrated. And he got McGregor like, hey, try any funny, anybody I'd hate her. And he's got his face is like drenched. Did you guys anybody see the drenched face on McGregor? I'm just thinking. Too many hits to the head, Harvey says. Guys, let's see, getting ready to go on backpacking trips, so really can't stay, but wanted to drop in. Always fun. Catherine, you rock. If you are out here on Clapper, I want to say hi to you real quick. Michelle. Inthravangsa, nailed it, except for there's not an R. Inthravangsa, better. Yankee Max, Kelly Silt Sitzman, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm having a hard time seeing. Richard Wright, always right with Richard. And we're always right. You gotta know that. Averind Padaria and Omar, my friend, so good to see you guys. If you have a chance, head over to the YouTube channel, head over to Rumble or X and be a part of the show there where you can see these stories over my shoulder and just be a part of it. It's a much better experience. So I, I'm a little worried about Conor McGregor, you know? And you know, right before they did the interview, Gillengall's like, you know, McGregor, come on, we're ready. Have you ever done an interview before? Like, you don't want to be like this. Hey, 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 Urban. You want to be like this. Like, hey, yeah, fielding questions. Let's get into it, Sports Illustrated. I got McGregor over here, Magoo. Hi, hey, 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 I don't even know what the hell he said. And then he's doing the shake of He's like, hey, 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 you know, we're having trouble. I need, a, I need a, like a, a, a thesaurus and also a translator. Is that guy who works for Shohei Otani available by chance? Got a couple of bets I wanted to place and maybe I think he's the guy. <laughs> What's that? Oh, Zabrowski. Zabrowski said, no, Shohei's the guy. You gotta go to Shohei for that information. <laughs> 4.5 million in debt, guys. You don't get there when you're an interpreter, making three to 500K a year. Go check out my piece of content on YouTube about that. I nailed it. Plus, we also have some crazy, f silly comedy about Matsuhara and Shohai, the money. Show me the money. Shohai, the, the, the money. Guys, Pete Rose also. You know he's on standby. He's just there. He's laying out bets. I wonder, um, what's the, what, what's the uh, over-under on Shohai not getting into the hall? Pete Rose has got money on it. You know, he's not getting into the hall because he'll be banned from baseball history. You come to this country, we give you a leash for you to do your thing. Be the greatest pitcher, greatest baseball batter of all time, home running it, $700 million, and you're out there gambling? Again, speculation, but 4.5 mil, I don't know how you can get into that much debt unless you're Shohei Otani, you know? Anyway, guys, what do you think about Conor McGregor? I really am concerned about this man. There's something off, and I hope he can get himself, you know, the help he needs. I'm thinking he's got some sort of drug issue, it looked like to me. I mean, he's, he's doing this weird thing. His face is all, like, like cake-looking. When your face gets all cakey, there's something messed up with that dude. You know what I mean? And then you're doing the shoulder and sitting like this, waiting for your next fix. You got Gyllenhaal sitting next to you, ready, to, ready for production. He's ready to go. Oh yeah, I'm Jake Gyllenhaal. It was a great production. I really enjoyed learning from Connor Magoo over here. You know? Hi, Heidi, Karen, Heaven. Gosh almighty. My Irish is getting better, by the way. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.